Hi, I'm Paul, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect your Aero Max 7 to your full fiber service over the OpenReach network. So the first thing we're gonna do is open the Aero box, see what's inside, and then we'll walk through how to connect this to your full fiber service. So upon opening the box, you're greeted straight away with the Aero Max 7. We have the power leads just below, and then just underneath the power lead, we also have the Ethernet or RJ45 lead, which we'll use to connect our Aero to our ONT. So before I go any further, it's really important that to continue through this setup process, you download the Aero app. You'll find the app in the App Store, whether it's a Google App Store or Apple App Store, and it'll look like this. Once you've downloaded the app, don't go any further, and we'll continue with this setup. So now you've opened up the Aero app, you'll be greeted with the following screen. And what you want to do is select Start Setup. And here is a brief checklist to make sure you have everything in place before we can begin the setup. So the Aero gateway or gateway Aero, that is your router, your power lead, ethernet lead, and then your fiber ONT. Now make sure that you're in the vicinity of your fiber ONT when we start this process as we will need to connect to it in the next step. So these next three screens talk about how to unplug any existing hardware and plug your Aero into the power, which we did at the start of this video. And then they also talk about how to connect your Aero up to the ONT. Rather than talk you through these, we'll jump back to the studio where I'll walk you through how to do that. If you have an OpenReach ONT, it might look something like this, or it may look like one of these. What you now need to do is take the Ethernet lead that came with your Aero. We advise to use the one that came with the Aero rather than one that may already be there or pre-existing, because we know that this one is capable of the speeds that your service will give you. If you use one that may be a bit older or may not have the same speed capability, you may find that your performance is less than expected because of the limitations of something as simple as an ethernet lead. What we want to do is plug one end of the ethernet lead into the free ethernet port on the bottom, and then you want to turn your arrow around, and you just plug the other end into number one, which is one of the 2.5 gigabit ports. Make sure that it's plugged into one of the 2.5 ports, ideally number one. Now that you've done that, you can continue the steps on your mobile app. Now that you've done that, you'll want to return to the mobile app and click on the blue arrow button. And what's now happening is the arrow is looking for a gateway. So it's trying to connect to the internet via your ONT. Once your app detects the model of router you're using, you'll be presented with a screen that looks like this. Simply click next. Now that everything's connected up, your arrow will try and set itself up. Now, if your Aero has been unable to set itself up, you may be presented with this screen. And this is nothing to worry about. Just double check that everything is connected up as we've outlined in this video. So your ethernet lead is connected correctly between the Aero device and your ONT, and that your ONT and Aero are both powered on. If that is the case, you simply want to click internet settings, which will bring you to this screen. Now what you want to do is click on the one type, and then you want to go down to PPPOE. You'll now want to select PPPOE, and this box will open for you to enter in your Zen broadband username and password. Your username is your Zen, some numbers at Zen. So for example, Zen12345 at Zen, all lowercase. And then your password will be the password that you were given when you first started your service. If you're unsure of where to find these details, you can find them from logging into your customer portal. Once you've entered these details, simply click save which will bring you back to here, and then click Try Wired Connection. And your Aero will now try and connect to the internet using the settings that you've provided. If you are presented with the following screen, this means that your Aero has now been identified and has set up correctly. All you need to do is identify where in the house your router is, or your Aero is. If none of these apply to where your Aero is currently positioned, you can set a custom location by clicking Customized, and then enter the location. So for example, server room, and then click next. And here you can now input your Wi-Fi name. So whatever you want your Wi-Fi name to be and your Wi-Fi password, simply enter it in 
like so. Once you've entered your Wi-Fi name and password, make a note so you won't forget, and then create network. And there you go, your era is now up and running and you're able to connect to it via Wi-Fi or wired connection and have access to your full fiber broadband. You'll then be brought to the following screen where you can set up additional Aeros if you so choose to for a mesh style setup. However, we're not gonna do that in this video. So all you need to do is select finish setup. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click on that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please click on that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you very much.